today we will be building the monitor of the computer. We're getting back to basics with this episode, at least in terms of my regular channel content. I will be showing you how to build a monitor in fact Oreo in 5 levels. Level 1, Lamp. This is accomplished by setting lamps up to turn on or off depending on a signal they are given. Setting this up can be a pain, and is a bit too simplistic for this build. Level 2, Choo Choo. We need to define what counts as a pixel. In this situation, anything that can change its visual look in a meaningful way is a pixel. So, these groups of trains are all one pixel each. Here I have a lot of stations set up to request trains based on what information I want displayed. The combinators enable and disable stations based on what number is displayed. Here is a practical demonstration. The current number is 1, but if I change this x value to 23, the trains will move accordingly. It is a bit cumbersome, and requires some imagination. I will admit, this episode took a long time to make because I kept watching the trains perform the little ballet together. A practical application of this would be to monitor satellite launches, but you might need a few extra digits. Intermission The matrix reloaded. The biters are really starting to get on my nerves ever since breaking out again and building an even bigger zion. My sentinels will once more peacefully relocate them. I have to now design a third version of the matrix. The first two were a bit extreme, so perhaps this one will be more abstract, simulating being in a dream. To summarize the predicament I've created, the motherboard was performing poorly, so I put biters into a matrix so I could harvest their blood. The original matrix was a paradise and was designed to be full of fish. After they unplugged, I changed the simulation to a hellscape governed by the architect. In addition to this, I'm adding a new program called Oracle to balance out all decisions. Oracle works alongside architect to deploy alterations to the code. Oracle will determine which biter is trying to unplug everyone, and then dispatch agents to neutralize them. Architect will then automatically reprogram a new simulation without needing my input. This seems to have slightly corrupted the code, but it's only a few glitches a few glitches here and there. Level 3, Lube. Anyone can build a screen, but it takes a man to use some lube. Like the train display, this one requires a bit of imagination. It uses a similar principle, where each tank of lube represents a segment of a display. The lube from the tanks on the left are pumped into the center tanks depending on the circuit condition, and then dumped into the tanks on the right, so they can be recycled into new numbers. This didn't work on the first attempt, or the second one. In this third attempt, it at least looks like a numeric display from the map, but I was unable to completely remove all fluids from the tanks. This is a good thing, because in my hubris I considered making a full 8 color monitor using the different colored fluids to represent pixels. The contraption would have filled tanks to represent full color images. If I hadn't had all those past failures, I would probably still be trying to get this to work. Level 4, Miners. This is a similar setup to the trains, where the variable that changes is the indicator light on the miners, as well as the animation. You really need to squint to see this one, but it goes to show you can turn pretty much anything in fact Oreo which can visually change into some sort of display. Level 5, Spaghetti. It wouldn't be a fact Oreo build if there wasn't belt ballet. This display uses uranium and works best at night. The inserters are configured to add or remove the items from the belt depending on the number that must be displayed. It's a great system because there is no additional logic to flush the numbers out. The circuit condition for these arms is that they turn on whenever the usual output is not being received. Conclusion You probably noticed most of these contraptions were just variations of a traditional 7-segment display, but with more or less steps. All my attempts to add more complexity quickly spiraled into madness. For now, I want to use the Choo Choo system, because it looks the coolest. Like and subscribe for more Fact Oreo content, or comment below if you want me to cover something specific.